next feature when you're working with Keynote is that you can customize your presentation and enhance it by adding transitions and animation. Now in order to do that, what you need to do is you can go in and I'm going to start off, I, I'm on slide number one. If I touch slide number one with a single tap, you'll see it says over here there's the transition area. I'm just going to touch transition. And it says transition and build, to add a transition, tap a slide, to add a build, tap an object, and to exit this view, tap done. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go in and select. You have a whole bunch of different types of transitions. I think uh, the best way to work with transitions is to really go in and select and, and play with them and see what they do. I'm just going to do mosaic here. Gives me a nice little preview of what mosaic's going to do as it goes. Now remember, transitions occur between slides. So I'm going to touch slide number two. I want to add a transition to slide number two. I'm going to do doorway. Here's what doorway is going to look like. I'm going to go to slide number three. I'm going to do drop. Slide number four. I'm going to do perspective. So this is just giving you a little preview of some of the types of transitions that can be done. And finally, my last slide will be, we'll just do push. Now, with each of these transitions, you can also go in under options. You could speed up or slow down the transition. As I scroll down here, I could also go down. Do I want it to be on tap, which means every time I touch the screen, that's what's going to trigger that transition? Or do I want it to happen immediately after the previous transition or give it a little bit of a delay? If I'm running a presentation on my own, I like to keep it on tap. That means I'm the one who is advancing through the slides. So that's adding the, the transitions between themes. You could also do what's called the build, and that's the animation of different objects and text on the individual slides. I'm going to touch on my, my picture here. You have two parts to the build. One is the build in. That's how it appears on the slide. The other is how it leaves the slide. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to just select anvil for how it will arrive. There's a nice anvil effect complete with the dust. From here I can also select options. I can change the order. Right now I only have one so that's going to be the one that's there. But if I touch down here to my text I can now add a build here. And for this one we're going to give it comment. Now when I touch order, I can change which thing I want to have happen first. I can switch those around. So there's comment again. I can deal with delivery. Now that I'm working with text, I can actually have it, if this was a whole paragraph of text, I could do the whole paragraph or by group or all at once. And just by doing that, um, let me go back here. I didn't do a build out, so I can have it Flame away to a dissolve, and I can do a build out over here with my text. Just have it pop. So now this entire slide, if I want to see that in action, what this is going to look like, I'm going to go up, um, first I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner and hit done. But now I'm going to click play to play my presentation. Takes a moment here to launch because I'm using something called Air Server. But now as I touch the screen, here's my anvil effect. Here comes my presentation text. Now it disappears. And there goes my transition to the next slide. Now I don't have any other content on here aside from the template, but at least you can see I have my different transitions that occur here. And this is a great way to enhance your presentation.